Why, hello there. Welcome to my shower. Hey there guys, welcome back for another video. Today, as you may have guessed from the title, we will be going through all of my curl clumping hacks for wavy hair when you are upright styling. Back in 2019, I filmed a video showing all my tips and tricks, like everything I could possibly think of to help get wavy hair to clump together. And you guys seem to have found that video very helpful, but, but the number one comment on that video that got over a thousand likes is that if you had to hang upside down that long to wash your hair, you'd pass out. I totally understand. The reason that I wash my hair upside down the majority of the time is that my wavy hair is kind of gravity challenged and styling upside down gives me some semblance of volume. It's also just easier for me because I can do and wash my hair whenever I want by hanging over my tub instead of having to get in the shower, wash my hair, and then get out. But but I totally understand that washing your hair upside down is not feasible for everyone, including me <laughs> at the moment. I am six months pregnant and bending over my tub to wash my hair is not an option for me in this season of life. So today we will be doing my curl clump packs for upright styling. I'm very excited to be sharing this video with you. I have been testing out this routine for quite a while. It works very well and it gives me volume even though I'm upright styling. So without further ado, let's transform this stretched out wavy hair into curl clumped goodness. And yes, I'm wearing a wetsuit. Why? because it's cold filming in the shower, okay? I'm trying not to freeze. All right, if you wanna see the wetsuit, link in the description. <laughs> in fact, all the products will be linked in the description down below. And yes, bonus, this wash day routine is an all drugstore routine. I love these products. These products are very effective as well as being very affordable. First off, we'll be going in with the Cantu Cleansing Cream Shampoo. Like I said in the first video, it is very important for curl clumps to make sure that there is no buildup on the hair. Hair that has a lot of buildup on it will not clump properly. So I'm making sure that my hair is soaking, soaking wet, and I am gently cleansing my scalp with the pads of my fingers and this product. I find that it works really very well in removing all past buildup without over stripping my hair. Keep in mind that my hair is very prone to buildup, so I tend to like a more cleansing, curly hair friendly shampoo versus one that is more hydrating. Now I'm just really rinsing that out of my hair very, very thoroughly because again, we don't want buildup in our hair, right? Right, gotta rinse really thoroughly no matter which product you're using to cleanse your hair. Next up, I'm going in with the Cantu Hydrating Cream Conditioner and I'm just realizing that I forgot to show you the bottle. I really do love this conditioner. It is one of the best ones that I have used from the drugstore. It's definitely one of the most slippery conditioners that I have. I really do enjoy taking my rinse out conditioner and using it to thoroughly, thoroughly detangle my hair. I'm going to use my fingers to begin distributing that conditioner through my hair and getting rid of all tangles. Guys, this conditioner is crazy slippery. If you haven't tried it yet, try it and let me know. Now I'm going to use my Perfect Hair Care brush with its very bendy bristles that are similar to the wet brush to finish distributing that conditioner through my hair. I'm not using the brush to detangle my hair just to make sure that I got really even distribution of that conditioner. And now I am going to do what is called a squish to condition. 
No, I did not coin this term, but this is a technique that deeply, deeply hydrates the hair. You take palmfuls of water and gently squish it into your hair, and this will deeply hydrate your hair. Hair that is very dry will not clump together well at all. So you want to make sure that your hair is thoroughly hydrated to get the best curl clumps. Now that I have scrunched and squished that conditioner into my hair to the point where I felt my hair absorb it, I'm going to rinse it out as per the instructions on the bottle. Yes, you really do wanna follow the instructions by the manufacturer. You don't wanna leave it in if it does say rinse out completely, which is why I'm going in with a separate leave-in conditioner. This one is from Mop Top. I have really been loving it lately. It is very lightweight. It contains some proteins and smells delicious. So I'm going to be following the same application technique that I used for my rinse out conditioner. And yes, it is actually critical for my curl clumps that I do both a rinse out conditioner and a separate leave-in conditioner. The leave-in conditioner really does help my curl clumps start getting organized, start clumping together. If you had very coarse hair, you could use a curl cream instead for this step. And yes, I have found that with the upright styling, if I take the brush and really brush all my hair straight back, it works. You'll see in a minute. I know it seems crazy. I did it one time on a whim and my hair turned out magical and I haven't looked back since. Okay, continuing with the same technique that I used with the rinse out conditioner, I'm going to be getting palmfuls of water and scrunching this into my hair. This acts like a second squish to condish while also adding water to my hair. Keep in mind that the more water that's in your hair when you apply your stylers, the bigger and juicier your curl clumps will be. Now I'm going in with my styler for today. And yes, this is the cream of nature styling snot. <laughs> you read that right. I am grabbing about this much. And yes, the texture really is very thick. If you you use a gel that is incredibly thick. It is helpful to make sure you spend your time emulsifying it in your hands. Really make sure that that product is very smooth before you try and apply it to the hair. Really helps with an even distribution. I will be gently glazing this over my hair as I shake my head from side to side to start shaking the curl clumps together and you guessed it, scrunching it into my hair. I have tried raking in my stylers into my hair. I've tried using a brush to style my hair. And those techniques just don't work for my curl type for my wavy hair. Scrunching product into my hair while it is soaking, soaking, soaking wet always gives me the best results. The water helps the product distribute into each curl clump and really taking my time while I'm scrunching also encourages the waves and curls to be their best selves. I will do this until I feel my hair completely soak up that gel as well. You just keep scrunching until your hair doesn't feel sticky anymore. And while most of the time I really like using two separate stylers, usually a curl enhancer or custard and a hard hold gel, this product does both in one for me. Those are the curl clumps that we're working with right now. And instead of doing a traditional dry plop or even a wet plop, I'm going to be doing something today called a micro plop. This technique works really well when I'm upright styling to not break up my curl clumps. If you find that your curl clumps are excessively fragile and doing the traditional dry plopping methods just aren't working for you, you might give this a try. It is a way to very gently remove water from your hair without creating wonky waves and curls. Am I basically just scrunching my hair with the towel? Why, yes, yes, I am. But we give it a fancy name called a microplop to make ourselves feel better. I am using the Perfect Hair Care towel for this step. 
It is microfiber, and I find that it absorbs lots of water without creating frizz, which I love. Next up, we will be diffusing the hair. And yes, before you comment, I will be sharing more thoughts with you on this new hair dryer. Just know that it is awesome. All right, let's talk curl clump hacks. Hacks for diffusing your hair and maintaining your curl clumps. Make sure your hair dryer is on low speed and low heat. And the technique that I'm using right here is actually called pixie diffusing. This is a very gentle way to encourage waves and curls to curl up without breaking up the curl clumps. You can see how carefully I'm picking up each strand of hair. And the trick here is to leave the diffuser in place for roughly 60 seconds before you move it. You do not wanna be moving the diffuser around a lot. This will break up the curl clumps. Now, shh, don't tell the curly police, but I'm actually gonna turn up the speed on my hair dryer. Why? Because I find that using higher speeds does not break up my curl clumps. I did not turn up the heat on the dryer, just the air speed. And yes, I'm breaking all the rules. If your hair is really prone to frizzing out while you're diffusing, you will want to use a lower speed. But if you want to decrease your dry time, you can increase your air speed. You have my permission. One more hack I want to show you is this technique called hover diffusing. If your curl clumps are breaking up really badly, when you pixie diffuse, try this, it works. All right, and we're here. We finally made it. I did diffuse my hair to 90% dry and let it air dry the rest of the way. And now I'm ready for the ball. I'm ready for the gala. What do you think? Just kidding. What I have going on in my hair right now is what is called the gel cast. This is actually a good friend of yours when you are looking to get the best curl clumps of your life. A good hard hold gel really does help encourage curl clumpage, but it's not a desirable look, is it? There's a trick for it. You go ahead and you scrunch out the crunch. Now, I still highly recommend using a hair oil to scrunch out the crunch to minimize frizz and help keep your curl clumps intact. I also recommend using a silk scarf to scrunch out the crunch, minimize frizz. Similar principle to scrunching out the crunch with an oil, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm living on the wild side. I do just normally scrunch out the crunch with bare hands. <gasps> Gasp. Again, if your hair is really prone to the curl clumps not staying together, you can smooth out the crunch or clap out the crunch. That works really well with keeping curl clumps smoothed together. I definitely got more gel on this side of my head. I'm pretty sure that's the side I scrunched first when I was applying the gel in the shower. And the curl clumps were bigger and more put together. Dang it, I should have showed y'all that before I started scrunching. Less curl clumpage, more curl clumpage. Why? Because I got enough product in that section to hold my curl clumps together. I knew I should have added more here. I could tell when I was applying that there wasn't quite enough there. You learn to feel these things with your fingers. Oh well, live and learn. I do find I can flip upside down for short periods of time to really <laughs> get some root lift going. Maybe not the whole time while I'm washing, but for a quick root fluff, I'll do anything. Alrighty, there we go. That is it for this video. See, I still have volume. I'm pretty sure Courtney from two years ago would have thought that it was impossible to style right side up and still get good volume, but the trick of really 
brushing everything straight back and then doing a nice deep side part. That's the trick. It took several tries to figure that out. I was trying to like brush the hair up and away from the scalp and do all these fancy things with a brush, but really <laughs> straight back and side part. I got good volume. What do you guys think? Did you find this video helpful? If you did, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. It does help me out and, and it's a way for you to just be like, Courtney, you were actually helpful. And if you wanna hang out some more for more wavy curly hair content, go ahead and subscribe, click that notification bell. I can't wait to see you guys again. And without further ado, I hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.